Hi everyone, it's Joshua Davies here. Today we're going to be looking at light swords and how you create them in the software. So let's look at our raw footage, two guys fighting with sticks. Right click and select make composite shot. We're going to make the comp larger than the original footage. This is so our glow can extend beyond the edges. Let's call this sword composite. Here we go. As you can see, this is our footage of two guys fighting with sticks, but we've got black edges now. This is so the glow can extend beyond the edge. The next step is to add the core of the lightsaber. So let's go to a decent frame somewhere around here. To do this we go new layer and then select plane. We make sure it's a white plane. Let's call this core. Everything's now covered in white so it's going to make it very hard to animate. So we want to go into the core, into its transform, set the opacity to zero. Now we can get on with keyframing the movement of the core. To keyframe the core, we're actually going to make a mask which is going to follow the shape of the stick. So let's select our layer, select the pen tool, create two points there, two points up here, and then close the mask. As you can see, these points are well beyond the edge. This is so that the glow continues beyond the edge of our frame. You can see that the stick is actually there. If we increase the opacity, there's our lightsaber. Let's reduce this back down and then carry on animating. To animate, we want to select the mask, expand it, and then on the path property, click here. As you can see, we've already got a keyframe, so let's zoom in and let's do a little bit of animation. Let's move forward a few frames. We reposition these. It can be fairly approximate. There is no fast way to do this. Once you get used to it, you can get quite quick. Here we've got very little movement, so we don't need to keyframe every frame. We can let that product do the animation for us. But when lightsabers move quickly, they just become a blur, and then you need to use some artistic license and do a lot of the work yourself. But as I say, over time you'll get quicker and quicker at this, till it's second nature. Right, let's finish on that keyframe. Right, so we've got some nice movement now. All we need to do is go back to our opacity, set it back up to 100%, and we now have our white stick. Great. This is the hardest part of the effect. Once you've got this part done, you can start having some fun. To create the glow is really simple. Just go up here, let's type in neon. There we go, there's our neon glow. We drag that on, let's double click on that. There we go, our glow's already there. Let's select hit film blue and we have our glow. This is the problem I was talking about which would have been inside the frame if we hadn't extended the edge. Now comes the clever part, putting everything back together. We want this sword comp to be only of our sword so we can switch off our footage here and now we just have the sword on black. We'll go back to our media, click on our original footage, and make a new composite shot. We're not going to change the size this time because we want it to be the exact size that it was. We'll call this main comp now all we need to do is find the frame we are on, because that's where we did our animation. Grab our sword comp, drag it on, and it's sitting on the top, exactly how we expected. But our black edges have gone, and the glow is extending beyond the edge. The finishing touch here is to go to the sword comp layer, to the controls, layer properties, and change the blend mode to either add or screen. Screen is a softer look, add can get very harsh when you have multiple lightsabers, so let's go for screen. This creates an illuminating look to the light sword. So that's a pretty good looking lightsaber, but it could be better. I think around the core we should have a bit of blur. This will make it more like a light source and less hard edge. So let's go back to the sword comp. Under effects, let's drop a blur just before the neon glow. Let's maybe reduce that down to three. Five is a bit much. But this is a much nicer, softer edge. But I also think we could do with more layers of glow. This can give a really interesting effect, which is maybe more like the films. So let's copy and paste that. And then in this one, we're going to increase our expansion and our radius. Keep on doing that. Let's make this pretty big. So we've got that kind of effect. And then on, we've got this inner glow, which is our original sword. Let's go into that. Have a look at the neon glow. We're going to reduce the expansion a little bit and yeah that looks pretty good let's go back to this one a little bit we're gonna reduce the intensity of this one a little bit 
So now if we go back to our main comp, we'll see that we've got this harder glow on the inside and then a softer glow on the outside of that. There's lots of customization you can do and we really look forward to seeing what you do with the software. If you want more tutorials, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you all on hitfilm.com, on the forums. Come and tell us what you think of the software. Thank you.